my name is Mrs. Gordon. I'm the elementary art teacher at Pennell and Coburn Elementaries. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I've been teaching in this district since 1999. I was a classroom teacher and in 2014 I got the great opportunity of becoming an art teacher at the elementary schools in Pendelco. Um, and I am thrilled to be working with your young artists. Helping them to learn about art and artists is my greatest passion. I am so happy to be able to do that every day. I would love to be with them personally, and I can't wait to get back with them when it's safe. Um, but right now, I love coming into your home and teaching art to your students in your home virtually until we can be back together again. Art is a necessary part of education in order to cultivate the whole child. The art curriculum for elementary students in Pendelco is based on the elements of art, line, shape, color, texture, form, value, and space. Using these building blocks, students will be, be able to become more independent with their art making. Over the course of their time as students in this district, they will create numerous works of art using a variety of different media. Um, in order to understand the elements of art, while also practicing and developing valuable skills like fine motor skills and observation and critical thinking and creative thinking and problem solving. In addition to creating art, students will also learn how to critique an artwork, how to write about art, how to think about art, how to analyze art, um, and will be introduced to many well-known and some not so well-known artists and artworks and different cultural art from different countries. Elementary students will have art class once a week for 40 minutes each time. While we are virtual, um, I will do my very best to make art accessible at home using what you have at home. We will be recycling a lot of um, materials like paper bags, um, and you know like the little flyers that come in the mail and different colored envelopes are great for collaging and um, it's also important while kids are working at home that their work be independent they might need to ask you for help now and again with this or that or they might want to tell you about their work um, but they should be creating their artwork with their hands. This should be their artwork. It doesn't have to look like my artwork. It needs to look like their artwork. They need to have ownership over their art. Um, when it comes to assessing artwork at home, um, I love to see their artwork, but sharing artwork from home can be challenging. Photographing it, sending it in, it can be hard. So that part is optional. I would love to see it if they want to share it with me. The best way to do that is to send me a message in Schoology because I can easily see it and then pull it up and look at what they've done. Um, but if you want to uh, find me on social media, Mrs. Gordon underscore art on both Instagram and Twitter, I'll be happy to take a look at it there. I always try to share something positive or my what I see in their art and give them a little you know virtual pat on the back. Um, but when it comes to assessing, for starting from this week moving forward, uh, starting the second week of school, um, we will be having a Google form at the end of each art lesson as just kind of an exit slip to see what they learned about art that day. Again, my name is Mrs. Gordon. I'm the art teacher at Pennell and Coburn Elementaries. I am thrilled to be able to teach your young artists at home and then hopefully again in person as soon as it is safe. Thanks so much for listening to my presentation.